Hello guys, today we'll be checking how to display your open card store products within a fancy sliding product window. So basically using the open card product carousel plugin, now the open card platform based web store admin can add multiple number of products so as to display within a carousel slider and it has a sleek design and is compatible with all of the web browsers that are there available. Also, it has a slick effect, so there's no need to have a flash uh, to run it. So I'll just take you through the workflow of the same and um, kindly you note that the admin can also configure the plugin to set the width and the height of the carousel window. And apart from that, as the codes are open source, it can also be customized as per your requirements there. So uh, right now you can see that I'm at the web store front end on my open gun platform based web store and here uh, we have set up the product carousel as you can see. Here we have a slider you can customize the color of this uh, left icon and the right icon from the admin backend panel and within that you can set the number of uh, rows to display at a, at a single time and the total number of products that should be there uh, within the carousel uh, slider itself. Now before we proceed further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, uh, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. Now uh, the customers can uh, access any of these uh, products that are within this particular uh, product carousel. So for example, if I want to go to the watches, I can just uh, go ahead and open it up in another window. Or we can tap here as well so for example if I tap on the two, two years extended warranty product it will then be displayed to the customer there and then if he wants he can go ahead and purchase the particular product and the same goes for if I open the uh, product in another window we are redirected to the same on to the respective products page now uh, if I go back you can see this particular uh, product slider a sleek one with a uh, with a, the, that doesn't require a flash to be uh, uh, usable or workable on your open card platform based web store and thus here you can provide this to your customers so that they can access your products from the carousel as well so you can use the carousel to navigate through the uh, products as well so if i tap here we can just navigate to the next products within the carousel itself now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you the initial configuration settings that are required for this particular plugin before making use of the same and i'll be changing the color of these uh, left and right arrows as well and you can see the difference uh, thereafter so uh, let's hop on to the admin backend panel and uh, i'll be entering the username password uh, for my account and then i'll be tapping on the login uh, but now after successful login and successful installation of this particular plugin to make the initial configuration settings just navigate through extensions then navigate to the modules and here go to the product uh, I'll just show you where exactly you want to go you have to go to the product slider and then tap edit under the actions column and that brings up the product sliders uh, configuration settings so here you can see that we have set the theme uh, to the blue color and if I go to the front end here you can see the blue color is there now if I go ahead and I change it to red save the thing go back uh, to the same so right now it's blue now let's uh, refresh the page now you can see the color has changed to red similarly you can change the colors as required uh, there uh, as per your own requirement for example if I make the color to uh, uh, yellow and save the configurations and let's go back and refresh the page once so now the color is yellow and thus you can customize the same now you can add the products directly into the cart as well by just tapping here on the add to cart button that you can see so for example if I tap here on the add to cart the product gets directly added to the cart without any issues and then the customers can uh, proceed further and can make a checkout thereafter. Now coming back to the configuration settings, the let's see the rest of the uh, settings there. So uh, I'll have to go to the product slider. I'll just tap the edit. Now to enable this functionality within your open cart platform based web store, you'll have to, after the installation, you'll have to enable this uh, functionality by choosing enabled. 
otherwise to disable it you will have to choose the disable option for the option that's the status after that you can set the total number of products to display within the product slider there so here we have set it as 10 and if i go to the store front here and let's uh, go to the extreme left hand and one two three four five six seven eight nine all right right now we have uh, all right all together these are 10 products right now okay so you can set the number of products that you want to display within the product slider there and you can also set the products in rows so what that means is that for example one at this time the, we have five uh, rows one two three four five so at any time you'll see five rows being displayed here within the product slider uh, right now also if you see these are five products total they are 10 now let's go back so you can set the product in rows so it depends for example if i go and set it as uh, all right let me set it as three let's save it up and let me refresh the page once so now you can see that uh, only three products or the three rows at a time are being displayed to the uh, customers at the storefront let's go ahead and let's uh, once again go to the configuration settings product slider edit and now let me make it uh, five or let's make it uh, let's make it six and uh, then we have the uh, start auto start whether you want to have it as an auto start as you were seeing here as soon as we come it starts moving automatically or uh, you want to disable that so we'll choose disabled here we'll choose green and let's tap save now let's uh, check the number of uh, rows we had set it as three initially now we have set it as six so one two three four five six six are being displayed and it's not moving uh, it on its own because we have disabled that now to further go ahead within this uh, product slider we'll have to choose these left and right arrows so now i can proceed further manually but it's better if you said if we said this as automatic because uh, that gives a much uh, good uh, user interface uh, uh, to the customers there so let me go ahead and let me make it uh, as automatic uh, once again auto start and save let's go back to the product page to the front page and here we are now it's automatically moving six products at a time total number we have set it as 10 so uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself and i hope it helped you out in uh, understanding the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements uh, you can get back to us at support and the rate of webcool.com raise it ticket at webcoolreviewers.com you can also contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webcool.com forward slash contacts and if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon as well as give a thumbs up to this particular video and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead